Okay, so let's just say it. The world of virtualization has been turned completely upside down. For years, VMware was the undisputed king, right? But now, well, now sysadmins everywhere are scrambling for the exits. And that's put a massive spotlight on this open source contender, Proxmox. So today, we're going to do a little reality check on its most anticipated new feature. You know, this quote just, it perfectly captures the shockwave that ripped through the IT world. When Broadcom bought VMware, license costs didn't just go up. Oh no, they went nuclear. What used to be this totally predictable, stable part of the budget suddenly became a financial nightmare. And just like that, the entire industry started this desperate search for a way out. So yeah, this shakeup created a huge problem. I mean, think about it. You've got admins who've built their entire careers on VMware. Suddenly, they need a whole new platform, and it has to be powerful, it has to be stable, and it definitely has to be affordable. The pressure to find an exit was, and is, immense. So where did everyone look? Naturally, all eyes turned to Proxmox VE. I mean, it's free, it's open source, it's got a rock-solid reputation. It seems like the perfect answer, right? But there was always this one big catch. A key piece was missing, centralized management. If you had multiple sites, multiple clusters, you were stuck managing them one by one. Just a sea of browser tabs. A real pain. And then it happened. Proxmox announced the thing everyone was hoping for, the Proxmox Data Center Manager, or PDM for short. And let me tell you, the community's expectations just went through the roof. Was this it? Could this finally be the missing piece of the puzzle? The tool that would elevate Proxmox to a true enterprise-grade replacement for VMware? All right, so what exactly is PDM? Well, the promise is that holy grail of IT, a single pane of glass. You know, one web interface to rule them all. The idea is simple. You connect all your separate Proxmox clusters and get this one unified view, this one control center for your entire infrastructure. But, and this is a big but, here's where the story takes a sharp turn. All those grand expectations, they crashed head on into the cold hard reality of a brand new beta stage piece of software. What people hoped PDM would be and what it actually is right now, well, they're two very, very different things. And this right here lays out that gap perfectly. Everyone was expecting a full-blown vCenter replacement, right? The ability to create VMs, provision storage, manage networks, the whole shebang. The reality? For now, it's, well, it's a dashboard. You get some basic monitoring graphs and one very specific superpower. Crucially, you can't actually create new VMs or manage storage from the central hub. Not yet, anyway. So what is that superpower? It's migration. See, before PDM, moving a VM from one Proxmox cluster to another was a whole ordeal. We're talking complex backups, restores. It was clunky. PDM lets you just do it directly. And if you're someone who's in the middle of a massive migration away from VMware, this one feature isn't just nice to have, it's a game changer. But focusing on that one feature also led to a ton of confusion. You have people logging in for the first time, all excited, and they're just left scratching their heads. This Reddit comment just sums it up perfectly. You know, you're expecting something called a data center manager, and what you get feels a lot more like a data center viewer. And this whole mismatch in expectations, it's created this really fascinating split right down the middle of the community. You literally have two different groups of people looking at the exact same tool and coming to completely opposite conclusions. It's wild. One person's source of frustration is another person's huge sigh of relief. Okay, so on one side, you've got the battle-hardened VMware admins. These are the folks in the trenches in the middle of a super stressful migration. For them, PDM, even with all its limitations, is a godsend. They don't see the migration feature as some small thing. They see it as a critical lifeline in their escape plan from those insane licensing fees. Yeah, it might be a little clunky, but hey, it solves a very immediate and very expensive problem. Then on the other side of the fence, you have users, both new and experienced, who are looking at this purely from a user experience, a UX perspective. And they're asking some tough questions, like why is this a whole separate tool? Shouldn't these features just be built into the main Proxmox interface? It really highlights that even for the people who get the potential, the actual execution just feels a bit rough around the edges. This table really breaks it all down and shows you exactly why opinions are so split. If you're a big enterprise with multiple sites, that single pane of glass is an absolute lifesaver. If you're running a migration project, it's the killer app, period. But if you're a home labber with just one cluster, it's total overkill. 
the value of this tool really truly depends on who you are and what problem you're trying to solve right now. So that brings us to the big question. Can PMDM actually evolve from this niche migration tool into a real honest-to-goodness vCenter competitor? The potential is absolutely massive, but the road ahead is full of pitfalls. You could say Proxmox is at a really critical crossroads right now. And let's be real, we have to acknowledge the rough edges. PDM is far from perfect. Early adopters are hitting some nasty bugs, like VMs getting stuck in a locked state after a migration. The documentation is sparse, to be kind. And if something goes wrong, you'd better be comfortable on the command line. It just doesn't have that polish that enterprises expect from a core management tool. But you have to look at the bigger picture. The context here is everything. Proxmox is staring at a once-in-a-generational opportunity. This whole VMware exodus has created a ready-made market of thousands of experienced, motivated sysadmins who are actively and desperately looking for a new home. They are practically begging for a viable alternative. So if they want to seize this moment, Proxmox has a pretty clear path forward. Step one, PDM has to grow up and become more than just a migration tool. Step two, they need to add those core enterprise features, things like role-based access control and way better monitoring. And finally, step three, they've got to polish that user experience until it's something a big company can bet its business on. And make no mistake, the risk of getting this wrong is very real. If PDM development stalls, if it just stays a dashboard with a superpower for too long, that window of opportunity is going to slam shut. These frustrated enterprises, they're not going to wait around forever. They'll bite the bullet and move to more mature and, yeah, more expensive options like Nutanix or even circle back to Microsoft's Hyper-V. Which leaves us with one big final question. Right now, Proxmos Data Center Manager is a classic case of being good enough to solve a very specific, very urgent problem, all while promising it's getting better. But in this high stakes fight for the future of the data center, is good enough and getting better really gonna be enough to win?